Today we're working on the Mini Cooper once more. We're going to be replacing this chrome grill that is broken with this um, JCW uh, one that I ordered online. Uh, this is supposed to be an OEM quality or actually actual BMW OEM uh, quality part. We're going to go ahead and replace it as well as the lower part. They are very loose on mine. So instead of replacing them with the same chrome, I've decided to replace them with nice black black ones and see how that looks let's get to it the parts that i'm going to be replacing are genuine bmw and these are the part numbers that you want to look for uh, in case you want to replace those yourself uh, you can probably find slightly cheaper ones if they're not actual bmw mini quality but i decided to splurge a little bit and spend 115 dollars on both pieces let's see how it turns out going to start by removing uh, Phillips, Phillips head screwdrivers right in here, There's one here, one right there, and another one in this corner. Take those out, very simple, put those on the side or in your pocket. And now since mine is so loose, it just comes out. There's nothing to it. That's what, these are the pieces that we're holding it in. And as you can see, all of the brackets on mine are broken off and that's why I was so loose. I'm gonna put that to the side. <clears throat> and now I'm gonna have to take out all of these uh, pieces left from the old trim piece. That's really one more. Screw it over this. I'm gonna keep the screws because you're gonna need it for the new one. I got some pliers now to remove these plastic pieces that are being held in. So all I'm doing is taking one of these, squashing it with the pliers and taking them out. There's a few of them left. These are all the ones that I have to take out. Now that I have all the little pieces removed, I'm just gonna clean the area a little bit with a Clark swipe, just because. Gotta clean underneath as well. Obviously you don't have to do this step, but I feel like it makes it for a nice, nicer, cleaner job. Now that I've cleaned the area and have the new piece ready to go, it does not come with screws, so make sure you save your screws so you can reuse them. I'm gonna simply try to clip these in, go as slow as possible. I don't wanna break any of them. So let's get to it. Okay, I have clipped them in. Uh, the thing is, it's still a little loose. So what I'm gonna do is put the screws in underneath and see how it looks after. Just gonna go one at a time, slowly. I don't think it needs to be super tight. Just enough to hold it in. Let's see, there's another one right here. Ok, 
okay. Well, that was a lot easier than I expected, at least for the top one. I think it looks pretty good so far. Let's see how much work it takes to do the other one. In order to remove the bottom grill, I believe we're gonna have to actually take off this entire piece. So I'm gonna try using screwdrivers as I don't have these clip removers. But if you use two of them and pull on both sides, they come out unscathed and you can reuse them. Third one. This one's more stubborn than the other ones. Okay, that came out. Now to remove the rest of it, there's a clip. I'll show you right behind and there. Let's see if I can find it. Right where my finger is. Right there, so I'm gonna push it down. And that let's go of this entire assembly, and I'm gonna have to keep going on the inside for the rest of it as well. I've now removed the bottom trim piece. Well, you may not actually have to take this entire thing off, but it does make it easier as I can press on the little clips underneath that are holding the, these in, especially these two. Now that I removed the trim pieces, I'm gonna make sure that they're the same. I'm gonna compare the clips, that they're in the same spots. Um, on the instructions, it did mention that some trimming may be required, but so far I don't see any difference. They look pretty much the same to me. So let's give it a try. I'm just going to continue to feed the plastic piece into the guide guidelines and make sure it doesn't gotta go gotta be very careful in these corner pieces there it is i'm gonna gently push it in so it clips in all right that looks good all right, now that it's clean, I want to make sure that this entire grill piece is pushed in uh, into these holes right here, which it is. Do the same thing on this side. So only the top is loose now. I'm going to put those clips back in, make sure it's held in place. I'm just going to take the clips and put them back in. I've decided to get a little hammer to help with this. That works a lot better. When people said you couldn't fix cars with hammers anymore. It's all in. Feels very good, solid. Take a look. After only about 15 minutes worth of work, I think we've transformed the look of the car, at least on the front side. I'm also gonna try to black all of this stuff out so it looks 
as dark as the grill up top. Um, still deciding if I wanna black out the chrome um, around the headlights, but that will come in future videos if I do decide to do so. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned how to replace your own if you wanna do that yourself. Uh, subscribe and like if you enjoy the content. I'll see you in the next one.